Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I'm going to be reviewing my first year at Cambridge University. I've got a lot to say. So obviously this year has been completely different to any other normal year and I wasn't necessarily expecting to have a normal university experience this year but all things considered I think I have made the most of it. I think it's quite difficult because I don't have anything to compare it to and obviously I think everyone is in the same scenario there who's gone through something like this. We have nothing to compare it to so when people are saying to me like oh don't you miss like lectures in real life I, I look at them I'm like I've never had a lecture in my life so why would I miss it how can I miss something that I've never had so I feel like in that way I don't know how different it would have been anyway so we're gonna do a ranking system basically a scale of I think should I do one to ten or one to five zero to five let's do five out of five. Five stars, right, okay. So I think I'm gonna start with the work. I think the first place to start is with the work, right? Because I feel like when you think about Cambridge and when you think about Oxbridge in itself, you think about, okay, there's a lot of work. And there is, like, I'm not even gonna lie. There is a lot of stuff you need to be doing at all points. Um, I think I, it's really weird because it does just feel like an extension of school in that way. And because we never really had a levels it does just feel like it's an extension and because i'm doing the same sort of subjects that i did in a level anyway it just feels like school but on crack on like very hard drugs um because obviously it's much more intense and you're only there for eight weeks in the term the work is difficult don't get me wrong but I was expecting it, if that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't say that it was a complete shock because when you think about Oxford and Cambridge, you don't think, you're not doing anything. You know, you're spending your days just watching Netflix, whatever, like chilling with your friends. You can, but the thing is, no one's really doing that because we all have a lot of work to do. And I think, I don't know, I think first year is obviously always more chilled, but it was still, a little bit of a culture shock having had such a long summer as well but yeah as i said it felt like an extension of a levels and all of that so um i would give it maybe three stars because it's not fun i'd give it like an average because i just wasn't expecting anything different my expectations of the workload have been met i don't think they've been exceeded actually with my course I anyway, know, I should probably say, so I do modern and medieval languages um, and I am at Murray Edwards College and, da, 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 and the two languages that I do are French and Spanish. Um, I'm really hoping to get onto this Portuguese module for next year, but it's not looking likely because there are only 15 spaces and it's allocated randomly. So hopefully I can do it and learn Portuguese as well, but we'll see on that front. The second category is college. Now, I was actually pulled from Downing College to Murray Edwards back in January 2020. Um, what a time to be alive. I applied to Downing and I got an offer, but I didn't get an offer from the college that I chose, which was fine to be honest, because I only really chose that college because I really liked the architecture. And yeah, to be honest, I'm very, very happy with how things ended up. I think at the time I was quite apprehensive because of the nature of Murray Edwards. So Murray Edwards is a women's college currently. And I think that's not necessarily what you think of when you want to go to university. And like a lot of it is like having independence and like living with boys and blah, 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 blah for a lot of people. And like, I mean, in my head, that was a big part of what university would be and having all of these other experiences. But I mean, the one thing with Cambridge is that I thought that it, you wouldn't have as much independence as I have, if that makes sense. I love my college for one, there's like, I love it for a lot of reasons, but one of the main ones is that we have fully functioning kitchens. Now, whilst they are very, very small, this is a rarity in Cambridge. Like most of the colleges are so old that they just don't have kitchens. They've got things called gyps. They are literally just a tap, a sink, toaster, a kettle. Whereas in Murray Edwards, we have ovens, hobs, like the whole works which is so good and it honestly like helped me so much because I don't know what I would have done if I had to eat in hall all the time so that would have really been annoying and I really enjoyed like stress chopping now this is gonna sound really weird but when I'm in the middle of an essay crisis I'm sitting there and I'm just like I'm not getting any more words out of myself tonight I'm like do you know what let me spend an hour in the kitchen chopping vegetables for a pasta sauce which could actually take 15 minutes procrastination some might say so I would give 
what am I even talking about? The college. Yeah, I would give my college like five stars to be honest. I've loved it. And in my first year, they've made it so welcoming. And it was so hard, obviously, for the college to do that when everything was online and there were people kind of isolating left, right and centre. And I'm sure people have had such different and varying experiences. But for me, I can't really complain. I never actually had to isolate once at uni, which was very lucky. I think everyone around me had at some point. Um, so that kind of meant that I had a, quite a positive experience in college this year. And I'll definitely be doing more videos on Laurie Edwards because I feel like there's not a lot of information out there about it. Um, so stay tuned for those. The third category is the nightlife. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think about university in general, when I think about, oh, okay, people going to uni, I think they're having an absolutely banging time. Um, they're going to clubs every day, they're doing bars, blah, 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 like getting drunk, fine, just having a nice time being young people, right? Obviously, this year has been a little bit different in that respect because everything's been shut. Now, in the first term, we had a lockdown midway. So that meant that we only had around four weeks to enjoy ourselves. I was very lucky to have made my friends early on in Freshers' Week, and if I hadn't, it would have been so blooming tough. I think what's different about this year is that the organised fun was taken away. Now, at Cambridge, I never thought, and when I when I got my offer, and when I was applying even, I never thought that like the nightlife was a priority for me. I knew that I would have something but i didn't i wasn't really concerned with like having a million clubs around and having all this all like organized fun essentially it wasn't like a huge priority for me i think f for me it was more like the quality of the education and whatever but that just meant that i didn't come into cambridge with many expectations and to be fair with my really low expectations it's it's they're still like they're still low the reality is still like a very uh, it's not great. I, I, I won't. I won't sugarcoat it. I really won't sugarcoat it. It's not great. There's, there's so little. There's so little of the organised fun. There, like, is anything actually fun that's organised? And I say this because this year there have been two clubs open, on and off, and in varying locations. And obviously, clubs aren't the most important, but it is part of it. And also, it's just been rubbish having to sit down. I just want to dance. I'm so. I'm sorry. I just wanted to dance. But I think that was what was so good about me having those such low expectations was that even with like it being Cambridge, which means there's very little choice essentially for organised fun, it also meant that the COVID stuff just didn't impact it whatsoever. Like, yes, it did. Yes, it meant that we couldn't dance in the club. But from what my expectations were, it really wasn't that bad. And, and that's a reminder to keep your expectations low, people, because you never know. You just want things to surprise you all the time. And to be fair, whilst the organised fun wasn't great and whilst we had really quite interesting nights on random greens in like parks and stuff which just it just felt so juvenile it just felt so like oh we're actually in year 10 again like we're drinking on a field like what's going on <laughs> like I was so done with it to be honest but because I made my friends early on and I'm so grateful to have them I don't I actually don't know what I would have done without them like <laughs> shout out to Casa de Cucci but uh, like you, you need to have your, your group otherwise it's just not going to be fun whatsoever and to be fair you all, all you will always find your people and I was lucky enough to find the people who sort of like had that work hard play hard mentality which is what most of us have to be honest in Cambridge and that was what was so nice I think that was something that shocked me the most was that everyone's kind of in this work hard play hard play hard, play hard. Uh, everyone's in this work hard, play hard mindset. And it's just so refreshing because that was kind of what I was like at school and then everyone's there together in this same mentality. Obviously some work harder than others and I will probably put myself in the lower end of working hard um, at the moment at least because first year and COVID and everything, I was like, do you know what, if I, if I can have a happy life right now, I've won. Like, I was not going to sacrifice mental health for my degree essentially at this point um, and I decided that very early on so so I would give the nightlife in Cambridge I'd give it two stars I'm not going to sugarcoat it two maybe one <laughs> I don't have anything else to say to be honest it's just it's pitiful it's just you can always visit other unis 
So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the cost of living. Now, this is something that I think gets kind of pushed to the wayside for a lot of people when they're kind of thinking about university, like the cost implications of all of it is so huge. And Cambridge is voted, I think, I think it was the most expensive place to be a student. I can't remember where I saw this and I don't know if that was including London or not, but I know that it's expensive. I'm not really sure why that is because it's quite a small place, like it's not a hustling bustling city, there's not that much to do, but um, it is quite expensive. There are so many ways that you can get finance and funding, but um, with cost of living, you just have to have such a good bud budgeting system in place. It was kind of like a slog every week to be inputting like my budget and like my weekly spends and everything, but it's just something I got into the habit of and it just really helped me track my spending and make sure that I wasn't gonna go over or like go into my overdraft um, at the end of term. So colleges that have a lot of money can subsidize a lot for you as a student. So some of the richer colleges like Trinity, Johns, are able to provide their students with more uh, for less. Whereas colleges like Murray Edwards, which are fairly new, aren't able to subsidize as much, which is a shame, I think, because ultimately it's just because it's not got as much of an endowment and it's just not got all the history and the alumna behind it. And it just means that for me at least and for people in my college and for like various other colleges there is a like quite a big disparity in cost of living i will say though i will say murray edwards is closest to aldi now cambridge is very much a sainsbury's town i think that mayor or something like own sainsbury's why have i that's definitely wrong some uh, basically some there's someone with some sort of affiliation to sainsbury's in cambridge that's why it's kind of Sainsbury's dominated. Now, Sainsbury's isn't like the cheapest supermarket, but Aldi, let me tell you, Aldi is a godsend. My weekly shop is 10 pounds, 10 pounds. And that's breakfast, lunch, dinner. And like, obviously I factor in, like sometimes I get takeaways and things like that, but 10 pounds, I'm sorry, wow. Wow, I, Aldi is a godsend. And that has like vastly taken the stress off budgeting and things like that, because at least I don't need to worry about what I'm eating, you know? So I would give the cost of living in Cambridge mm, probably about two stars. It's not great, but we all come out with debt at the end of it anyway. So just make more, more debt, more the merrier, and more's the fun. I think the biggest thing that I learned this year was I have to be so organized. And the thing is, I'm quite organized anyway, outwardly anyway. In my head, it's all a mess, but outwardly I can do the Google calendar, like all of that. You have to stay organized, otherwise it will get the better of you. And at that point, no one can help you because once you're behind, oof, not fun, not fun. And especially with languages, which is quite a, it's quite a lot of contact hours, which is, I quite like it because I like to be held accountable to something because I have a lot of like deadlines, like pretty much every day I'll have some sort of deadline for something. Um, and I, I mean, it keeps me working. Like Otherwise I don't know what I would be doing with my day, to be honest. I mean, you just need to build good habits, to be honest, because once you've got your organization in place and you're kind of in your routine, um, everything kind of falls into place from there. I need to do like a final ranking, right? Final rating. Uh, to be honest, I've had a great time. I'd probably I'd probably give it four stars. Now, I'm holding back a star because, I, you know, there's always room for improvement, but that's not really the reason. It's because this year has been unprecedented. Um, <laughs> and I just think it could have been better. Um, we had, I would have, I think it would have been more fun to have all more organized events, have an actual Freshers Week. Oh my God, I didn't even talk about Freshers Week. That was shocking. I'm sorry, it was shocking. Online Freshers, I don't, I have nothing else to say except please, why, por qué? But then again, in Freshers, I met some of my best mates. So I'd also have to knock back a star because I wasn't there for one whole term. And that one whole term where I was doing uni from this room basically was very tough. Like not having those support systems in place, not having your friends around you who are going through the same things. And it, that's what's so nice about living in college is that you're all going through the same routine essentially. So basically in Cambridge, the week starts on a Thursday. I don't know if that, I don't even know how I've ever like actually got my head around it or if I even have. And that just means you're essentially working Thursday to Thursday and you don't have a weekend because the weekend you have like deadlines essentially that are due for the Monday, if that makes sense. 
That means that when I was at home, I was on a completely different schedule to my mum. When I was sitting there on a Sunday, like working so hard because it's a Sunday and that's like in the middle of my week essentially. And she's like, why can't you take out an hour to watch a film, like two hours to watch a film, it's not gonna kill you. And I'm sitting there like, this is literally the only time I have to write this essay. If I don't write it now, it's not getting done. And she just didn't get that. And like, that's fine because it's just on such a different schedule. And that's what's nice about college because everyone is on that same schedule and it's, it's crazy, it's weird, but everyone's there in it with you. I'm literally waffling now. I think I'm going to do a final, final, final conclusion, which is I'll give it four stars. I had a good time. I liked it. I don't have anything to compare it to. That's the thing. It was still really nice to have my independence, to actually like live out, to, to meet new people, like have, have new friends. And I'm going to be talking about this so much more, I'm sure. But like living in a new place is just so fun. There's just so much to it. And I, I think my, one of my favorite things about being at university is meeting people from everywhere. You know, most of us have only lived in one place but like our lives. So we've only really known the same sorts of people and the people who come from similar backgrounds to us. And that's literally my favorite thing about uni is that you meet everyone. So I think I'm going to draw this episode to a close. Um, and I think that brings my first year review, my rating, I don't know, ranking to a close. I've definitely enjoyed making it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next week with another video.